sure you can tell by the state of my room that I am kind of struggling. I have been not my highest self. I have been not that girl. I have been not the productive queen that she all claim I am. And we're gonna be kind of going on this little journey together. This journey of bettering ourselves, this journey of working towards our goals, coming our ideal best versions of ourselves. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. I kid you not guys, having a clean room makes you feel put together. Making your bed first thing in the morning makes you feel put together. I haven't made my bed in like a week. Let's get on to it, pay, pay. So This is my current room situation. Yeah, not cute. Also, Priscilla looks so sad. Literally the same. Disgusting. I'm putting on some music because there's just no way that I'm gonna be cleaning my room without listening to some bangers. Currently listening to my feel good playlist. I love listening to music that just hypes me up while cleaning because it gives me some form of incentive to actually clean and actually have fun while cleaning. I also enjoy listening to some podcasts, so these are podcasts that I have been currently loving. <laughs> Identity for sponsoring today's video. Identity is my ultimate favorite way to declutter the internet. Identity is an easy to access site that organizes all of your most used websites into tiles, automatically linking usernames and passwords to maximize productivity and time efficiency. If I want to listen to lo-fi beats while writing an essay that's due an hour from now, I can in just two easy clicks. Identity is also super customizable. You can easily add your favorites and even create categories that cater to your lifestyle. Use the link in my description to sign up for Identity and start decluttering your digital space. Now let's get back into the video. You kind of like this angle. It's a little different. The next thing that we need to do is do my laundry and also wash my sheets. The only problem we have here is that I don't have laundry detergent. So we have to go to Target. Oh my gosh, we just have to go to Target. Honestly, I'm just using that as an excuse. I also want to pick up some things to organize my closet because as you can tell right now, I have a lot of clothes in the top of my like the thing in my closet yeah we just need to get new bins i don't know if it's just me but i feel like these are lame i want cute ones you know hey guys i have a ukulele that i forgot about <laughs> yeah. i don't know how to play obviously i also need to return something from best buy let's see if they actually have the one that i needed because literally guys i'm so dumb i got this one when i was supposed to get this one so <laughs> let's go thank you those pants are groovy. Yeah, look, it likes them. What's up with Target being trendy? Their clothes is actually cute. Mom, let me dye my hair. Mom, where's the detergent? Mom, boys, we're here so we can't go to Costco. They're cute. Never spring. That's cute. Mandarin and ginger. They're so pretty. Look how cute that is. It's an eco box. That's kind of sick. Spring cleaning, baby. How long do they have softener? They have the church. I've never tried one. <laughs> oh my god, it's OJ, OJ. I don't understand how those could be that expensive. That's insane. These are super nice. These ones as well. They're so pretty, but I'm like not about to spend a lot of money to get hangers of all things. Like I don't really need hangers, you know? I am debating between getting this one, but then there's also these smaller ones. These are really nice, but it's $55. You can like freaking water my plants with this. So cute. I needed to get coffee because obviously, you know, coffee, caffeine, energy, survival. I also got some caramel sauce. 
have them aesthetic coffee drink and I'm so excited to take my coffee tomorrow morning. My stepdad wanted to get these pens so I got them for him. They have the Uni Ball 2007 gel. I've never tried these before. Fabric softener from Everspring. I tried their detergent and I really liked it. And then I got this Myers Clean Day Rose Scented Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner SOS Steel Wood Pad thing. It's to help clean like the dishes. These organizers for my closet because as of right now, my closet is going through it just like me. So many of these, it's insane. I don't know what to do with them because I don't use padding, which I probably should, honestly, but I just don't. Um. All right, so these are the piles that I have. My undergarments right there, my whites, my colors, my like dark black ones. Also, we're gonna have to go through that stuff right now. Guys, I have this book that I've been meaning to open. She looks so cute, but it is the It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover novel. So excited to read this beautiful book. It's delicacy. So I'm going to show you guys. Comment below if you guys have any book recommendations. My goal of reading books has kind of not been working out. I've only read like one book this whole year, and it is already April. So yeah, it's not a vibe. Today we're going to be tackling deep cleaning. I want to wipe down all of my surfaces. I really want to clean my windowsill, do some sweeping, maybe some mopping. I also want to organize my closet today. I'm so bummed because I had ordered some desk organizers on Amazon, but they're not going to be coming in for a while. I also made myself some coffee. It is so good, guys. Literally, kid you not, I got a milk brother recently. It makes me feel so put together because my coffees look so pretty. So if you're considering getting a milk frother, do it. If you're considering spending $5 on caramel drizzle do it it's like a little reward a little treat So I just ran out of hangers and I'm obviously not going to buy more. I think it might be in my best interest to just get rid of some clothes. I'm going to take out all of this clothes up here, put it on the floor, and then figure out whether or not I want to keep them. Go to your closet right now, I'm pretty sure you could find at least like three pieces that you would never use and someone else could probably benefit from them. It's not my aesthetic or my vibe and I'd never reach for this so why have it in my closet and taking up space and wasting my hanger? Guys, I'm so bummed out. I love square necklines and I genuinely really like this shirt but it just doesn't fit me right so this got to go. I got these at the Goodwill bins and I thought this was gonna fit me. It's an extra large, guys. What was I thinking? Ugh, I love these jeans, but they also don't fit me. <laughs> this doesn't even go past my ribcage, bro. Like, what? Okay, I was able to get some more hangers for my clothes pile that I'm gonna be keeping, the pile that I'm going to be getting rid of. My room looks so crazy right now. Literally, look. I just ripped my bag. <laughs> I have a meeting at 12. Oh my gosh, I forgot about it. Oh, color coordinating makes me feel so put together. I have just reached that point where I am so over this, like I kind of just want to like But we shall continue, the show must go on And my laptop will continue to overheat I'm gonna be watching some Netflix because literally guys That is the only way that I'm gonna be able to survive this This one's Chris Majeski <laughs>
My drawers are so bad, we have to definitely declutter this. Yeah, not a vibe. Trisha back where she belongs. This is always so scary because I literally just stand on top of this chair that it isn't necessarily super stable and I just like do my best to not die. <laughs> this is like dangerous. Yeah, look how cute she looks. Trisha. She's literally thriving. Ah, can't relate. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Use my AC. I just couldn't handle it. I was sweating so much. It was 80 degrees in my house. Oh, uh, it looks just so much more better. Essentially gonna be doing kind of a mini glow up. I'm gonna be cutting my hair. You're supposed to get your hair cut like every couple of months and I haven't gotten my hair cut since last June. So it's been a minute. I also really need to get my nails done. I know it's kind of repetitive. I got my nails done last video, I'm getting my nails done again. But you know, it is what it is. This is what happens when you take a month break off of YouTube. So yeah, I wanna do some skincare later on tonight. Maybe do like a little bath, even though I don't have a bath, but just sit on like the shower floor for 20 minutes and just like rethink my entire life. I also want to go to the gym because that's something I've been putting off the past like two weeks. Haven't necessarily been intentional with my workouts nor have I actually worked out. I go to the grocery store because I have run out of all fruits and vegetables. <laughs> to the grocery store and picked up some items that I have been meaning to get. Literally guys, all I've been eating is carbs for the past week. And you know, carbs aren't bad. Like I firm believer, everything in moderation, baby. But like genuinely speaking here, I'm in desperate need of some spinach, some nutrients. I got some blueberries and strawberries, some bananas so that I can finally freaking eat oatmeal, organic rolled oats. This is the Whole Foods brand and I really like this brand actually. I think I prefer these over like the traditional regular oatmeal guy. I got an avocado. It's an avocado. Yeah, told myself I'm only allowed to get one avocado because the last time I got avocado, which was over two weeks ago, I only used one and the other ones went bad because I forgot about them. Cold pressed sparkling juice by Suha Organic Elements. I've never tried this before. Supposedly, according to the label, it's supposed to support immune and biome health. I don't even know if I like grapefruit, but I'll try it out. We'll see if I like grapefruit. This ginger shot, which I've actually had before. I got these at Target and I didn't know that I hope we sold them. For the lighting changes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I also got some organic baby spinach. I genuinely prefer baby spinach over regular dot spinach. I got some limon for my lemon water in the morning because I'm trying to be that girl, okay? Glow up 2022, baby. Here I come. If you drink warm water with lemon first thing in the morning, it's super good for your gut. Yo, the lighting changes aren't it, Chief. Grape tomatoes. I love tiny things, which is why I enjoy eating these tiny tomatoes. And then I also got some organic. I don't really know how chips could be organic, but lo and behold. I love spicy things, literally. I eat these with myself. Sandwiches all the time, bro. 
Whole Foods brand protein and fiber crunch. I don't know what that means, but the picture looked good, so that's why I got it. And it has 10 grams of protein, which is nice. Two white chocolate macadamia cliff bars. These are my favorite energy bars, and also the only ones I'm able to tolerate because the other ones just taste weird, like they taste funny. And then last but not least, I got the Coco Love XOXOX Almond and Sea Salt Dark Chocolate. They're vegan, they're non GMO, they're a healthy snack. Super excited to consume this. As you can tell, I'm very ecstatic about my purchases. But that just ain't it, man. I don't know why I can just do that. They just keep falling. They're not even that thick. Like, they're literally just like me. They're not that thick, but I swear they are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put away all the groceries that are on my floor right now. And I'll get back to you guys in like one second. I changed it to something a little bit more comfortable, but now we're gonna be moving on to probably my favorite part of getting my life together, which is organizing, planning, goal setting, and just kind of checking in with myself via journaling. I recently got this journal. It is a motivational journal called Do It Yourself. I got it on Amazon simply because I thought it was really pretty. So I'm gonna be working on this right now. Another journal that I genuinely really love, and I try to use this on a daily basis, but kind of neglected it for the past two weeks, is the Five minute journal. You write three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, some daily affirmations, and then during the evening you come back to it and it's three amazing things that have happened today and also what are ways that you could have made this day better. Obviously you don't need to buy these journals. Pinterest is a great resource. If you're kind of stuck on what to write about in your journal, it has a lot of ideas on there. This has been essentially just a journal where I just kind of like word vomit all of my feelings. I also write a lot of my monthly goals goals and my weekly goals in here as well. I'm also going to be doing some organizing and planning. I'm going to be using my 2022 planner that I got from Typo and I'm also going to be updating my Notion. washing my face i use the crv facial cleanser for a normal to oily skin so if you're wondering i'm gonna be applying this face mask onto my skin i've been on this face mask for a good 10 minutes up as early as possible considering the fact that it is 1 32 a.m i stay struggling to go to sleep because i go to sleep so late i wake up so late and then i drink a lot of caffeine throughout the day we're gonna try to wake up early so that i can work towards goals as important as it is to write down your goals it's also important to work towards your goals i'll see you guys tomorrow I haven't woken up this early in so long. I was really trying to wake up at 7 a.m. But I just kept pressing snooze. That has been such a bad habit of mine lately. The best way to break a habit is to start new habits. I pack for people that dread making their bed. I literally just stuff on top of my bed sheets so that you don't have to struggle or anything with making a bed. Bed equals need. You look so happy. I had this whole plan in my head that I was gonna do this big morning routine and wake up at 7 a.m., go to the gym, and literally I am running late. Sometimes you just don't have enough time in the morning to do all of the stuff you had planned. We're gonna go to the hair appointment and then right after I'm gonna kind of do like a morning routine in the afternoon basically. As long as you're doing the habits that you want to do throughout the day, it doesn't necessarily matter if you do them in the morning. Like yeah, starting off the day with some journaling is nice, but like if you don't do that, you can 
always do it during lunch, right after you're finished with your homework, during the evening, or like right before you go to bed. There's always gonna be time in the day to do the things that you wanna do. Just because you don't go to the gym in the morning doesn't mean you can't take a 10 minute stroll around your neighborhood safely right after you come back home from work, you know? They're all the mini versions. versions. We gotta get rolling. I'm gonna be snacking on this macadamia cliff bar and this banana before we have breakfast later. I'm starving, but I obviously don't have the time to like prep and make food. So we're gonna go with this right now. And then after I'll do my workout, I'll make some more scrumptious breakfast. That's so excited. <laughs> I the gym in the morning since like two months ago. My hair bangs are kind of weird, but it is what it is. I'm going to be doing this all for dirty. So I just finished getting ready for the day. I literally have no plans today. All I want to do is edit. I genuinely think that like slopping on some mascara, doing my hair, wearing a cute outfit, putting some lip gloss on, it makes me feel so much more motivated to actually do stuff. Even if it's like two in the afternoon, whenever I'm wearing like my sweats and my baggy t-shirts, all I want to do is lay in bed and watch Netflix. Like it has been associated with that. Also, if you're wondering, this is my hair. I got some like curtain bang looking things and then I also trimmed off all of the dead ends so my hair looks so much more healthy. Let's hug. So I just made myself some breakfast, like breakfast food for lunch essentially. Whenever I feel like my life is a mess, it's mainly because I stop prioritizing my spiritual health. So right now we're gonna do some Bible studying. Also have pens and highlighters that I like to use to annotate my Bible. Oh.